the ancestral diet says it pretty simply, you know, like it, it's a, it's a range of kind of, you know, well, well raised, um, nose to tail meats with lots of broths. So yeah, an important part is kind of breaking down the collagen, which are, you know, we just don't talk about in the modern diet at all, which is the, 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 the foundations that gives you the amino acids for both, um, you know, bone structure, dentin, um, gums, uh, all of that is, is, is treasured in the traditional diet and that, and they top it off with fermented foods, you know, and some, um, seasonal vegetables. That's kind of like the, what most, um, you know, what most traditional cultures do. It's, it's that simple. And, you know, when you kind of put it in this perspective, you see how, you know, we've become this sick because you think about Price's work was in the twenties and thirties. He died in 47. In the fifties, we started this diet heart hypothesis stuff where uh. Keys kind of talked about, you know, and he, that's stripped out all the fat from our diet. So we're, we're basically um, r- removing all of the, all the protective factors during the sixties, seventies, eighties. Then we start to put all the sugar in. So the, the, in the eighties sugar really starts to step up in cereals, you know, the refined vegetable oils are, are com- you know, infiltrating everywhere. And then that's where we're at. That's why we, our systems don't work like this. You know, why, you know, we don't have, um, you know, immunity to tooth scan, why our, our, our jaws aren't formed because we don't have the hormonal signal because all of our endocrine system is out because we've been, we've been completely ignoring and not supporting it with these, um, uh, the nutrients that actually tell it what to do. That's one other thing that vitamin D critical in the brain, you know, um, with serotonin and melatonin to, um, to prime good sleep and, and bone formation. The, The modern diet is, is completely, um, triggered towards, chronic disease and you know your story about um veganism i've, I've seen that as well so i see mm. lesions um kind of right down to the pulp in you know they've probably formed in you know a little bit over 12 months and it's wow. it's just in yeah, vegans. It's, yeah and vegans yeah it's it's um you know it happens in other people too but vegans particularly they get this rampant decay because the body is deficient screaming for nutrients and you see it in the teeth first and then the chronic you know autoimmune and and other problems will um follow and yet this is the diet that most of hollywood who are certainly not experts but they but they set the tone thinks is healthy and we've been told and i i really love this picture that we're painting here that we knew the answers you know like humans and i've talked about this with chris kenobi previously on the podcast and this idea that in 1910 all of the fat we ate was animal fat and we certainly had some carbohydrates and people weren't getting probably as much liver as they should have been but all the animal, all the fat we were eating in 1910 was animal fat. And there was very low rates. There were very low rates of heart disease and other issues and chronic disease and diabetes. And then we started introducing these seed oils. And then over time, thanks to the work of Ansel Keys, who probably was a very well-meaning guy, just very misled and very wrong. We have now vilified animal foods and people are afraid of animal fat, which is also a good source of fat soluble vitamins. They're afraid of red meat. And we don't even remember, we have a complete amnesia as to what animal organs are because you go to the butcher and they're gone. So we're just, we're just a very nutrient deficient culture. And that has led to um, many dentists being able to put their kids through college, which is a fantastic thing, but getting fillings. I mean, I had, you know, mercury fillings when I was a kid and that was a horrible thing, which we can talk about. And, and then I had braces when I was a kid. Thankfully, I kept my wisdom teeth. But I, I mean, I was, a ch- I was a child of the same generation. I, the only real liver that I had as a kid was in liverwurst, which thankfully I ate, you know, but that was the only thing I had. So that was probably where I was getting most of my vitamin A, my vitamin K2, and I somehow eked through. 